Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, we are going to conduct the stress analysis on the L-clamp and we are going to analyze the effect of chamfer length in the maximum stress and deformation. For that, we are going to use the parametric study method. The loading conditions are, the clamp is fixed at the side face and it is subjected to a force of 100 Newton in the bolt circle. The material is given as steel. So in this region, we are going to add the chamfer we are going to vary the dimensions and we are going to evaluate the maximum stress and deformation. Open ANSYS workbench. In the left side you can see various toolboxes. Select static structural. So the first stage is engineering data. As the material given is steel, I am not going to change that. So right click on geometry. Choose import geometry. Choose browse. The geometry file is given in the description. You can download it. Select L-clamp IGS. Now right click on geometry. Choose edit geometry in design modeler. Click the import. Go to operation and change it to add material. Choose generate. So in design modeler after each step we should use the generate option. Now go to chamfer. Before that change the units to millimeter. Now go to chamfer, choose the edge we want to add the chamfer, click apply. So initially I am specifying a chamfer length of 10 mm in each side. Now click this box to make it as a parameter. So the parameter name is chamfer1 fd1, then this is chamfer1 fd2. Now click generate. So now initially we have generated a chamfer length of 10 cross 10. You can see that there is a parametric set is defined here. Now right click on the model, choose edit. In the tree you can see that there are tick options. So directly go to mesh, right click on that, choose generate mesh. Now the entire element is discretized into small elements. Now choose static structural. Go to fixed. So use the scroll button to rotate this. Select this face. Click apply. Now go to force. Click control. And select these four faces. Click OK. Now we can define the force by two options either by vector or by components. I am choosing components and I am adding a negative force component of 100 Newton in the y direction. So the negative direction is for opposite side. Now right click on the solution, go to insert. So insert the results we want to evaluate. So we need equivalent stress and the total deformation. Now in the equivalent stress, click the square box near the maximum stress to make it as parametric result. Similarly go to total deformation and click the maximum deformation as a parametric result. Now you can go to workbench window. You can see that there is a closed loop here. Now double click on the parameter set. So the first design point is already defined as 10. I'm defining the remaining design points. I'm defining 20 mm and 30 mm. So the, similarly, we can include n number of design points. In that, enable this to retain the result. Now click shift, select these three design points, right click and uh, use update selected design points. Well, now this will calculate the solutions for all the three design points. Now the solution is completed. You can see that by increasing the chamfer size, the maximum stress and the maximum deformation gets decreased. So to view the results, you can right click on the result and you can choose set as current. You can go to project, right click on the result and choose edit. 
So this is the result of equivalent stress and a total deformation for the third design point that is 30 mm. If you want to save the image file, choose image to file and you can choose parametric design point 3. So if you want to visualize the next result, again go to parameter set. You can right click on the design point, you want to see the result, choose set as current. Then go to project, edit the results to view it. So this is the results for design point 1. So now with these results we can go for a valuable analysis on the effect of chamfer size on the maximum stress and deformation. Thank you.